Next, we're going to install the actual PC into your cab. So if you already have your own PC, great. This is the PC that I built for a client here. It's a Dell Optiplex 710 with a core i5-3470 3.2 gigahertz CPU, 16 gigabytes of RAM, so I upgraded this, a graphics card, the GTX 1650, which is a monster in here, upgraded the SSD to 120 gig hard drive so that we can run Windows, and I left the stock 250 gig hard drive as rollover storage, which the image is on. So you can upgrade this as well but this is a basic base pc it's going to run most everything that you want to on this cab and more if you wanted to upgrade it later on but this is the pc that i'm going to use here's our completed lcd converter attached to the back of the monitor as well as our amp on the top with the speaker spliced into it ready and plugged into the lcd lastly here's our marquee plug so we're going to install the pc right now and hook everything up to our newly installed inlet power module switch all right, next we're going to put our PC into the cab. I already plugged in the power as well as the HDMI cord so I don't have to reach in behind. Go ahead and grab the USB cables from your control panel and plug them in. One of these is the APAC, and one of these is the Altamark um, flight stick that I have controlled in this particular control panel. So depending on your control panel mod, you might have one or two more different USBs to plug in, um, but the APAC, should always read as joystick one though. So depending on your configuration, you might have to plug those in, unplug them out. But that's everything plugged into the back of the PC. This is just gonna sit inside of your cab. It's pretty heavy, so it's gonna stay secure. You could find some different ways to secure it down if you wanted to. Oh, it's backwards. Let's just stick this inside. So you can lie it down flat like that. It's not gonna move, so it's another nice way to have it there in your cab. Let's go ahead and plug this into our surge protector here and then plug into the monitor up top. Last couple of things that we need to plug in. This is the stock 12 volt adapter that came with the Arcade 1UP. We're gonna plug this into our surge protector as one other outlet. And then your amp also should come with a 12 volt adapter or if you didn't buy one with the adapter, you could always uh, use another Y splitter. But this is just another um, cable that I had. So I'm gonna plug this into the surge protector as well. So those are the only three plugs that are going to plug into your surge protector. The PC, the monitor cable, and then the sound uh, for your amp if you have a plug for your amp. And this other end here is going to plug into that custom Y splitter that I had. So let's go ahead and plug in our Y splitter. Here we go. And now we have three ends that we're going to connect inside. So one of these is going to go to the LCD converter. The other one is going to plug in and light up our LEDs. And this last one is going to plug into the marquee. All right, let's finish plugging it in. This is the uh, power wire harness from our control panel for the LED buttons. That's going to be number one. The uh, marquee here is that custom smaller sized uh, 3.5 millimeter male compared to this. So this is that custom female plug that we made. And this last one is going to plug directly into your LCD converter and power that on. So those are the only three things that you're going to need to plug in. Um, I would go ahead afterwards and secure and tie this all down using zip ties, tie them to the side of the wall. Uh, but that's all the installation that you need to put inside of your cab. Let's turn everything on and test it out. So if you haven't already set your PC to turn on with power detection, go ahead and boot up into your BIOS screen. Go to BIOS setup and you should be able to find a couple of different things that would be able to get you to turn this on. So your BIOS menu might look a little bit different. So under power management, under AC recovery, we're going to, here it is, power on whenever um, AC power is restored. So this is normally on the off button. So let's go ahead and leave power on, hit apply. There we go, that's it. And so next time we switch it on, everything should turn on once the power is detected. And here it is, our final test to make sure everything works. So let's go ahead and flip our on switch. Boom, cabinet turns on. Our PC detected power, so it's booting up right now. Let's see how long everything takes to get everything booted. So I have the PC running on a 120 gig SSD. So I do recommend putting your windows on a solid state drive so everything boots up pretty quickly. Um, you can see we get to the window screen with about 10 to 15 seconds. Everything boots up and I have this nice little uh, splash screen here, as uh, I called my arcade, Starcade, appropriately. 
So we have our Star Wars Arcade 1UP logo on here. Um, I set up the PC to automatically start up two different programs, Joy to Key as well as Big Box, which is going to be loading up our playlist in a second. So everything should automatically load if you just let it set up and sit. Um, so within um, about a minute from starting up, you're going to see this really cool intro screen right now for Big Box. Check it out. So you can watch the full video or you can press the button and it will skip it. But this is a nice little retro video I liked to um, start a big box. And here it is. My custom playlist for Star Wars for all the different racing games and things you can do. So at this point you can navigate the whole entire control menu using your yoke. So you have your shooter games, your ride and shoot playlist. You guys may have seen this list before. But everything you can navigate and select directly through your yoke and control panel. This is your select button, this is your back button. And when you're finally ready to shut down your PC and everything, you hit this back button, you're gonna get into your big box menu here, and you're gonna navigate down to shutdown. So you're gonna shut down your PC safely through the menu control first. Always do this if you're using a PC, you wanna shut down your PC first, make sure everything's off. Once that's off, and you go back to this blank screen here, then you can just go ahead and flip this switch. Everything will turn off. So hope you guys enjoyed the installation and uh, enjoy the cab. Hope you have lots of fun.